Part 2. Silver Snow. Pegasus Moon. Valley of Torment. Having repelled the Imperial Vanguard, the Resistance Army, in desperate need of troops, seeks help from Judith, head of House Daphne, the governing body in the northwestern regions of Alliance territory. Hey guys, it's Jag. Welcome back to the arcade. Let's get back to just another game, Fire Emblem Three Houses, where we do desperately need those reinforcements because... Well, let's just say our defense didn't really go as smoothly as I thought it was going to. Damn Pegasus Knights everywhere. Really ripping apart my back line. I did not enjoy that. Um, and I do have a few ideas on how I'm going to handle monastery exploration days, but I'll talk about that in a minute. Ah, it is you. It is me, Green Hair Club! We were just talking about Rhea. Yes, isn't it great that she's gone? We have searched for five long years, but have not found a trace of her. It is possible that she is sleeping somewhere. Or she's dead. I just want you guys to be ready for that. Just as you were sleeping all those years. I was a special case. Is that what you think? Perhaps, uh, is that what you think? That is my current theory, yes. We have moved against the Empire with the intent of defeating them, but have not given up hope of recovering Rhea. I think you guys should start giving up hope. If she is alive, we will find her. And if she's dead, just stay with me. We will bury her. Rhea is like family to us, and to you as well. No, no, no. Please, lend me your strength. I will pretend to. The messenger we sent to Daphne returned with a reply. Please. Read it at once. Oh boy! Email! I understand your situation. I will help you with whatever strength I have to spare. But there is a problem. Openly marshalling soldiers within my territory could provoke other members of the Alliance. Therefore, I will secretly gather troops in Aelel, the Valley of Torment. Will your group be able to receive the soldiers at this location? From there, it should be safe to return to the monastery by following the border between the Alliance and the Kingdom. I like that we know how she... what her voice sounds like. Ah, technology. LL, the Valley of Torment. LL is a deep valley located on the border of the Kingdom and the Alliance. People stay far away. There, we can meet without anyone finding out. It is decided. Make plans to meet up with our reinforcements at once. Hail the Valley of Torment. Ooh, intrigue, a traitor in our midst. You're not my gatekeeper friend, are you? Please, no. I like that we also read top secret information where everybody else is around. That was the best decision. Even a better decision than setting everybody on fire, Seth. You truly are a master tactician. The leader of our time. No, I'm not still salty about that at all. It is Henneman's birthday! We do nothing because he creeps me out. He keeps looking at my chest. Okay! So, we do have paralogues that have returned. I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at these. The face beneath. Whispers of Death Knight sightings of Garrig Mach excite Kaspar, but Mercedes has a much more pensive reaction. Something must be on her mind. I am very interested in this. 
foreign land and sky, the worn Fodland has put Bridget in a precarious position. With Bernadetta in tow, Petra returns to her homeland in hopes of avoiding a confrontation with her grandfather. Now we did something like this in the last playthrough, only it was against the church. And I, for some reason, in hopes of avoiding a confrontation kind of makes me think it was rewritten a little bit. And it's going to be much more Empire focused, which I assume is going to be the case anyway. But maybe the story as well would be much more Empire focused, not just the troops that we fight. That would be interesting. But we're not going to do that this time. As you can see, we have a lot going on. Fish and Mystery, Hunting Festival, the Choir Festival, Hanneman's birthday in which he's forever alone. <laughs> so we're going to explore. And in the interest of moving the story as quickly as possible, I'm thinking I'm only going to show the first full exploration week every month. This will be the time when I do things like the tournament and talking to all my students and, uh, you know, doing quests. Speaking of which, advanced lens tournament today. We could put in either Sylvain or Ferdinand. Recommended level 31 of, or higher. Weapon use training lance. You get 1250 G's and the silver lance plus. Probably think I want to put in Sylvain. But uh, I'm only going to show the first full week of exploration when I'm doing all the maintenance stuff. And then when I'm just coming through and I'm getting like buffs or training by lift or doing things like cooking, I might start All for our cutting future. those weeks out or doing them off screen. And you guys will get more of the battling and and uh, paralogues and hopefully we'll be moving through these months a bit faster from a video standpoint. Because as much as I do like this play this game, I don't want to be like on these playthroughs for months and months and months and months, don't just indefinitely. We did see pretty much all the character stuff in the first playthrough. I feel like even though I don't have the shortcuts of being able to use my renown for, for uh, supports and, and ranks and things like that. I could still speed up the second playthrough quite All for a bit. for our future. Whenever I do like a battle and I turn in a quest that relates to that battle, I will of course still be showing those off. Also, holy crap, it's the semifinals and Sylvana's only taking about two damage a hit. Wow. Sylvain, you are a beast. Like, I'm not even paying attention to it. But I you hope that, that makes sense to you guys, because I don't think you guys need to see me do all my training every week that I do the training. You guys are going to see the results, and I think you can safely assume the training happened. And I just want to be able to show off the milestones, the important events. The stuff that I think you'd be actually interested in. I'm I was just stronger. Starting with starting this month, I think that's how I'm gonna handle it. Cause I was even I was getting Congratulations! You completely stomped the Advanced Lance Tournament. Good job, Sylvain. You didn't even have to heal. Gain Silver Lance Plus and 1250 Gs. And some professor points because I admit even I thought that the last month just kept dragging on and on and on Felix he's nowhere to be found some in Fargus believe Dimitri is still alive my father is one such eccentric <laughs> <laughs> they can't accept reality Dimitri is dead he's not coming back morbid goodbye Although I can't say that I, I particularly mind, but I know that some of my fans do and wouldn't want Dimitri to be dead, so I'm not going to harp on it. It's odd. Someday we will take the Imperial Capital. Maybe you'll be Emperor. It is odd to think that I will be invading the very city that I once called home. 
You ever think about that, Ferdinand? Maybe you could be emperor. Ah, that is still a ways off. I will prepare for our journey to ALL. Yes, let's just keep spreading that around. Alright, what do you teach? Uh, nothing I'm interested in. Actually, do you teach the sword? Summon Fartma. <laughs> I forgot. Nope, just punching things. I know how to punch. Have you seen my crits? Alright, so now that we've done with that, let's go up here. And get our relaxation buff, which I needed anyway. Who am I gonna go in with this time? Um Let's go into Dorothea. I think Dorothea still has a ways to go in her training. It would be helpful for her to get the relaxation buff. Increase the steam. I like the twins in here. <laughs> I mean like the actual twins. Get your minds out of the gutter. You can see them in this shot here. In the foreground and background. They've got different hairstyles, but it's the same woman. Uh, stay longer? Alright, I'm relaxed and I feel really good. Uh, I don't know who Dorothea is. She does not seem to be, and I think I'm gonna lose my buff. So let's go ahead and leave. Alright, Violet feels refreshed. Let's go back in and try to get. Oh, I can't. Damn. Alright. Uh, who else would I wanna go back in with anyway? I might save that for another week. The important thing is Byleth is relaxed for the month. Oh, someone said that Hanneman teaches flying, so let's go investigate that while I'm thinking about it. Also, there's quests we need to do. It sounded familiar, I just haven't had a chance to check, and now I've got a chance to check. Seteth, you are not here. Okay. Hanuman, you can teach me flying. I was unsure what we were going to do. The monastery repairs have made solid progress. Most excellent news. When we first returned here, I was unsure what we were going to do with the ruins of this place. Did you actually... F is it actually being fixed? But if we can get the cathedral rebuilt, we'll have it looking just like old times soon enough. Or is it always going to be like in perpetual repair? Advanced drills. You do not teach me flying. Okay. Then I've got no reason to be here. Goodbye. I could have sworn there was a third person to teach me flying. Manuela, I know you can do it. Hearing that an old student has died cuts me right to the heart. Wait, who died? As this war with the Empire continues, we'll see more of it, Professor. Maybe she's talking about Randolph? We have a duty to fight alongside our former students. We taught them how to fight after all. Now, let's help them win. Who died? Oh, am I gonna have to look again? Teach me how to fly. What's it? Is she talking about Randolph? Hey, like, look at my roster. Linhart's here, Bernadette's here, Petra's here, Sylvanus here, Mercedes is here, Dorothea's here, Kaspar's here, Fernand is here, Ingrid is here. That's everyone I took in the battle, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. Who died? Nobody. What? What the hell? Where's Anna? Does Anna have supports? Anna. 
Anna didn't die. Maybe she just doesn't have supports. Whatever. Damn it! Damn it, Manuela, why'd you have to say something like that? Uh, well, let's go talk to Mercedes. I don't need to fast travel, I'm almost there. I mean, fortunately, this is a separate save, so if I have to go back and replay everything, that's what I'm going to do. But, whatever. It's important to read books. We may not be students anymore, but it's still important to read. We might even learn something that's useful for our next battle. Studying is important. I couldn't agree more. I hope the Officers Academy reopens when the war is over. I, it's a shame her, the monastery was ruined, but... Her idol animation really bothers me. At least the books are still intact. Yay, books! Goodbye! I really, really don't like Mercedes' idol animation. Okay, is Sedith up here in the main room? Because he can teach me something useful too. It would be nice for Byleth to have a master class this run. Something besides just the ones that she was, she was given by the story. Something new to play with. Sedith, are you in here? Where are you? Sata, why? Okay, you're in the cathedral. Whatever. Let's go. I needed to visit here anyway. Nope, it's still ruined. But I have renown to spend, so let's do that. And we'll do choir practice and notes. There are one notes. Need right. something. How much renown do I Ooh, two thousand. Hmm. You get real close to that XP plus ten percent. Yeah, this one? We'll do that. You're all set. Need twenty five hundred. Um, don't want the faith. Or the bow. Hmm. Eh. Bow is fine. You're all set. God, I don't know. It it must take multiple New Game Pluses to max out everything. Maybe this is mostly intended as a way see to you again soon. Sp speed up New Game Plus playthroughs. Like, there's some benefits in the main playthrough, but... Rare Item Index. A list of rare items in Fodlin. It probably belongs to someone with a deep interest in rare things. Um, it's probably intended, like, for, um, your subsequent playthroughs, especially since you can spend renown on, uh, supports and skills and things like that. Today is the choir festival. Hmm. Linhart and Mercedes. I may sound terrible, but you won't notice when everyone else sings, too. I hope this song reaches the goddess's ears. I'm standing right in front of you. Alright. Mercedes is almost up to an A in faith, which is good. Because then I can... She'll be ready to transition to a... a there is one note. Grimry. Yes, we'll read the only note. I trip all the time, but what if I trip on the battlefield? Will I die? I'm probably going to die. <laughs> Focus on what you'll do if the enemy trips instead. Yeah. Bernie! <laughs> Come on. 
Please don't be in pouting. Stop saying it everywhere. The Valley of Torment is an astute decision. Meeting reinforcements in the Valley of Torment seems an astute decision to me. You know what's not? Talking about it out here, you have an office. In that land of oppressive heat, it is unlikely that we will be disturbed. It also means we will need to contend with those harsh conditions ourselves, however. Best ensure we are well prepared. Oh god, everything's gonna be on fire, isn't it? I have something to ask of you. Uh, we are working to acquire more resources and would greatly appreciate your help. Gather the required resources and deliver them. Xanado fruit and Caledonian, Caledonian gar. I actually believe I have this. Maybe I don't. What if I talk to you again? Yes, there we go. Well done. You have my thanks. Your assistance in collecting resources is most appreciated. It may not be much, but please accept this with my thanks. 200 points, renown, and 2,000 G's money. Thank you. Alright, advanced drills. Uh, flying. Yes, this is what I want. Thank you. Where is Flame? Flame was supposed to be here too, wasn't she? Yes, I'm guessing that's she's inside. So we're gonna have to bring along what sounds like a lot of flyers, since they're not affected by fire. Okay. The kingdom is over with. With the Fargus dukedom in place, the kingdom is essentially no more. The majority of the lords who once belonged to the kingdom are now under the jurisdiction of the Empire. Even the houses that haven't been to me yet, like House Frodarius, will soon be crushed. It's only a matter of time. You're... cheerful. Where are you, Flame? Are you in the back corner? Flane, why are you hiding back here? Are you crying? Can I watch? <laughs> I'm so awful to Flane. Um, no? They won't attack here yet. To the north of Garrig Mark lie the territories of the Karen and Galatea houses, former lords of the kingdom. Even though their territory is being nibbled at by the Empire, they are still clinging to their neutrality. You are... A model I have never seen before. Since they only display enough force to defend their borders, I suppose the Empire has no incentive to attack them with any real strength. Uh, good luck with that. <laughs> they won't attack here yet. They've already attacked here twice! You dumb bastard. Where were you? Where were you when they attacked the monastery? Where is Flame? Where's Dent? Oh, since when does this door open? <laughs> Probably always. Where is Flame? Where the hell is she? Is she out on the other patio? Hi. Goodbye. Yep, keep, just keep saying it out loud. I mean, where the hell are you? Hmm. Uh, dealing with deserters, undercover commerce. Looking for help exporting goods. Individuals lacking discretion need not apply. We get an armored bear stuffy, Elmira and pine needles, and Elmira mercenaries. We'll look into that. The secret shop is open! Urgent! I need help finding something to see me right away. I'll make it worth your while, promise. Alright, so Anna's going to be opening opening her shop soon. Where the hell is Flame? Where did she... How... Is she in the tomb? Can I get in the tomb? Hi there! Nobody likes you. Well... Ugh. Ugh. No, I can't get in there. Hello there. Goodbye. Why is everybody so creepy? Is it the boobs? It must be the boobs. Where is she? 
Watched me like run past her six times. Flynn, are you over here? No, but this was a good place to look. You know what, Flayne? I'm about to stop caring. <laughs> I didn't really care all that much to begin with. Now it's just kind of like, I refuse to let you defeat me. <laughs> Where is she? Damn, girl! I think the game's lying to me. I don't think she's here at all. I've been everywhere! <laughs> is she... God, is that you? <laughs> uh, oh, okay. I can't spend like 30 minutes looking for flame. I'm going to, but I can't. I need to move on. Seth, where the hell is that her over there? I would not consider this part of the cathedral considering that you have to load over here. Hello, Flane. So much has changed. It has been only five years, yet so much has changed. Half of the kingdom has fallen to the Empire. Skirmishes are rife throughout the Alliance. Despite such tumult, we look upon the same sky, unchanged by the storm happening beneath it. Do you wish you could return to those days? It's true, it's just like it was all those years ago. Uh, we'll go with do you wish. Yes, it would be nice, I suppose. Things were simpler then, or so they seemed to be at the time. Creepy smile. Alright, what do you teach me? Nothing I care about. Goodbye. Thank you! I am I am really? glad that I can now move on with my life. Alright. No one's in the sauna, no one's in the personal quarters. Ah, oh, damn it! Bernadetta! That was weird. Maybe. Bernie, get out of there! Don't spend the entire time in your room! Galel, the Valley of Torment? What kind of a name for a place is that? It sounds scary. Do I really have to go with you? Hey, um, here's an idea. Maybe let the recluse stay home and hold the fort. Get out of your room! Anything you'd be interested in? Thank you. All right, you don't care about that. You like art, but you don't like that. Makes perfect sense. So, whatever she went through in the five years when she was allied with the Empire gave her self-confidence and I guess because she never did that she doesn't have it it's that's gonna bother me it still gives you difficulty since the past I have learned much of the language of Fodlin but speaking the Fodlin language still gives me difficulty this is like the exact conversation we've had before I can understand read and write with nearly perfection now but understanding and speaking are fruits of a different color that's part of your charm everyone has a weak spot oh that's part of your charm i have gratitude for you professor i hope that i will have fluency one day this is the first conversation that is you can teach me flying why can you teach me flying that doesn't make any sense you don't know how to fly whatever At least I identify the third person. That's the first conversation that's straight up just copy and pasted from the last playthrough. Uh, yes, I would like to do some gardening. Harvest, please. Root vegetable seeds, northern fallen seeds, peach currant, zanado fruit, and mixed fruit seeds. Okay. I will now plant. I will plant this, and this, and these and this and that kind of wish it would tell you what the yield is so you could experiment more but okay all right okay the predicted yield is actually pretty good uh 
What if I use poop? Spread poop, please. Pegasus blessings. It's shit. <laughs> you know. I never do get used to the sight of blood. It always makes me feel as if I might faint. This one might be the same too. I suppose I told you that though, yes? I have no idea how you cope with it. I hope this war ends soon. I dislike being lightheaded because other people are bleeding everywhere. <laughs> Though the thought of working hard for it does sound like quite a pain. Working hard for blood? What? Alright, you can't teach me anything, but good to see you. Who's hiding over here? Oh, you. Gotta clean out the storerooms, tend the flowers, do the washing, dust the library. Do you, that sounds like a lot of work. Do you need any help? Uh, that sounds like a lot of work. Sucks to be you. Well, it's my job, you know. Gotta do your job. Like you. You gotta have other stuff you ought to be doing, yeah? Yes. Yes, I do. I will go do that right now. Alright, the fishing I'm thinking I might do on my own? Not sure. I'm going to check that out to see if it's good for Professor Points. Or if I might want to wait another week. Um, let's go down here and... Are you the spy? Nothing to report. Greetings, Professor. Nothing to report. Is everyone setting out on a big campaign? Not exactly. Ah, so you're meeting up with the reinforcements. Yeah, let's just tell everybody. Well, you can leave guarding this place to me. I'll keep an eye out for anything suspicious. Cool. <sighs> Nobody here knows the value of a secret. Nothing to report today. Hey, Professor. Thanks for your hard work again. Nothing to report today. <laughs> Are you making fun of him? <laughs> was that convincing? Was it like he was standing right in front of you? <laughs> Some things are the same as they were five years ago, but I guess a lot more has changed. Just realized, Dorothea, are you taller than me? I think you are. Are you wearing heels? I don't think you are. No, you're just taller. Huh. Alright, I don't need to learn reason. I feel like I should do T at some point, but I'm going to be pretty much getting A support with everybody I care about. I can't get A support with everybody on the roster. I could go to T with Ingrid. I might do that. It's hard on everyone. There's unrest everywhere these days. All of my fellow merchants seem to be endangered. I hope things go back to normal. Okay, this is just the exact same conversation. Let's do the quest. The hey, secret shop. How about a favor? It's gone. Gone, I say. I can't do business without it. Hey, you. Get it back for me and I'll cut you the deal of your life. Find the secret thingy that Anna is looking for. It seems that if you do, she will open up her secret shop. Okay. Rose Petal Blend, Morphous Plum, Hair Clip, and 500 Renown. More importantly, hey, shop. how about a favor? Did I not accept this? Maybe that's why nothing was showing up. I thought I accepted this. That's weird. You can teach me the sword, but I don't really need the sword anymore. No wonder secrets haven't been showing up, I guess. Alright, who else do I need to talk to? Ingrid? Um... Oh god. Shamir, Sylvain. I guess people in the reception hall. Okay. We can We got time. We got time. If I can knock this out this first episode, this would be great. Oh. It's overwhelming. I have lived inconspicuously these past five years, so as not to be discovered by the Empire. To be able to finally return to the monastery again is overwhelming. I hope that our brothers and sisters who ran far away will also return one day. Neat. I guess it would feel like, kind of like a religious persecution. 
Remain vigilant. There are enemy spies around. Remain vigilant. Yeah, I know. Tell it to Seteth. Capture anyone who seems suspicious. Ooh. All right, to kill them? All right, I will. I'm glad you understand. I'm counting on you. <laughs> to kill them? Death? Are you a spy? Uh, that skirt's awfully short for a nun. Huh? Have I, I, I haven't checked on my amiibo in forever, actually. What have I got? Cinnamon blend? Dagda fruit blend? Lester Cortania? A specialty, specialty tea from the Alliance blended with a variety of leaves from the East. This tea is of the utmost quality. I don't have anything from the Alliance to share it with. Chest key! They ain't gonna unlock my chest. Mithril! Hell yeah. Pure water. That was good stuff. Alright, let's go talk to Engrid. And maybe do some cooking. She's right there waiting for us. Hello, Engrid. Galateas are related to Daphna. My family, the Galateas, are an offshoot of the Daphna family. The family split in half, and two brothers quarreled over an inheritance. Didn't mean to cut that off, whoops. Despite blood relations, the families lived apart from one another, so the relationship has been distant and somewhat estranged. I'm not so much acquainted with Judith, the head of House Daphne. Okay. Oh, well, good to know. Might invite you to tea if with my last point, but... Let's go to the hunting festival. Today's special. Minced poultry, definitely stew. Minced poultry and onions boiled with salt. The simple recipe lets high quality ingredients speak for themselves. Ooh, that sounds good. Who needs motivation? Ingrid and... Sylvain, actually, and that's it. Professor, keep an eye on Ingrid. She'll swipe all the good bits for herself. <laughs> I would do no such thing. Sure, I like eating, but not to the point of thievery. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. Oh! And Sylvain actually got full motivation, even though it wasn't his favorite. Interesting! So maybe some of those unique interactions always guarantee full motivation? Tea of the Saints. Even commoners have tried this cost-effective tea, with which is a mixture of herbs. It's a tad bitter. But I don't want to cook. Uh, let's cook with... No, I don't want to cook with Manuela. Mercedes? Have I cooked with her before? Ah, oh, that's such good stuff. Immortality stew. Sure, I need to go through all that to totes pike I've got. I enjoy baking sweets, but I'm not sure how I'll do cooking other types of food. She does not sound like this at all in Fire Emblem Heroes. You can tell that they're trying, but she's got a different voice actress. I actually kind of like it better. Much more exciting than studying or training. Yes, setting the kitchen on fire can't be described as exciting. Wow. <laughs> it is funny to watch her do these success pose because you would not think that she would be the one to do it. Alright. Uh I need to oh, actually if I'm I know I've got to go to Sylvain and a few others, but if I make this full cycle in one episode, that'd be amazing. Yeah, and I think I'm going to. All right, let's go talk to the talk to the Sylvain. He's also got a quest nearby. AOL, the Valley of Torment. Oh man, I really do not want to go there. Is it on fire? Pull yourself together. Why not? That place is crazy hot. For guys like me, 
who grew up somewhere cold? Man, it's gonna be rough. It's on fire, isn't it? No, I guess that climate will keep our enemies at bay. All right. Uh, nothing I want to learn. Okay, thank you. You there? Yes, me. Can you help me? Don't tell anyone, but I'm actually an Elmiran merchant. I'm looking to export some goods from Fallen and sell them back in my homeland. If you help me out, I'll reward you handsomely. Search for some rare Fallen goods that will please the merchant from Elmira. Okay. Undercover commerce. I haven't even started yet. Hold your horses. Great. Okay, well, I see where I'm... Uh, really? I gotta steal? Sweet. I get to steal from Rhea's room. First, let's go here. What up, bitch? The hero of Daphnil. I've heard people talk about the hero of Daphnil. If the stories of her courage are true, no one will be able to stand against us. In different circumstances, I'd have wanted to try crossing swords with her. Right now, we have to focus on getting to those reinforcements. Let's hope nothing goes wrong. <sighs> I'm not even gonna look. I don't want to learn from you. What up, Lysithia? What up, Manuk? Elil. Elil, the Valley of Torment, lies on the border of three noble territories. The kingdoms Fraldarius and Galatea families, and the Alliance's Daphno family. Oh, good. In the Fraldarius lands to the north, the former Kingdom Army and New Duke's Army are fighting. Okay, you just teach me reason now. Yeah. Okay. In other words... Oh, what do you have to say? Lady Judith is very devout. House Daphnil is a renowned family, descended directly from the Ten Elites. They've had close ties to the Church for ages. I hear even Judith, who is known for her bravery and valor, is a devout follower of the Seros faith. She will lend us her strength. I'm sure of it. Yay. Okay. Does that mean that I've talked to everybody? Just doing another sweep to make sure. Think so. Awesome. In that case... Oh, I've not talked to Kaspar. Alright, let's go here. It's close enough. How could I forget about Kaspar? Where are you, Kaspar? You're in the next room over. Oh, come on! What was that? Spring can't come soon enough. Was that you? Oh, so there's something over here. Owl feather. Okay. So, not a lost item then. Alright, Kaspar, save the best for last. Why are you just hanging out here? I didn't expect it. I didn't think we'd end up fighting Randolph. He's my uncle. Well, not by blood, so... I guess I can handle it. Okay, so that's how you're related. I'm still worried about you. Don't worry about me. I'm ready for anything. All right, you teach me X and brawling. Now that should be everybody. We're actually close enough to one of the quests we need to turn in. So we're gonna turn in both of these quests, have a tea time with Ingrid, and call it good. Really? I think that'll be a very full episode and a very full day of exploration. Which means next time we might go ahead and head to do those paralogues, at least one of them. I I've been looking forward to it for a while. I'm actually surprised it showed up in this playthrough. I'm guessing it didn't show up in the last one because technically he was an ally. Alright, Zoltan's Beast Idol. A valuable idol craft created by the Master Craftsman Zoltan who is widely thought to have only made weapons. Why does that sound familiar? I feel like I've... Maybe I did this quest before. Alright, and the secret thingy. Ah, she was in the sauna. Anna's secret thingy. 
The mysterious object that Anna needs to open her secret shop. It's too incredible to behold. Lovely. Is it her bra? Do I really have to give back her bra? Can I keep it? <laughs> I guess she needs the support to open her shop. Alright. Nice job. Nice job. Thanks for helping me out. Here's your reward. It's a stuffed nader bear. Cute, right? This toy is incredibly popular with our Myron children these days. Feel free to show it off, but don't tell anyone where you got it from. Alright. I will collect rewards. Armor bear stuffy, pine needles, blah blah blah, and a new battalion. Zoom! My running animation is so wonky. Plus, she travels pretty fast by her own. What's this? Onion! Yummy. I love go. onions. Appreciate it. Thanks, friend. That's a huge relief. Now I'll finally now I can finally open up shop. I'll be sure to swing by the monastery again, so keep an eye on the schedule and bring lots of gold. Find the secret thingy that Anna's looking for. It seems that if you do, she will open up her shop, get rose petal blend, morphous plum, stylish hair clip, and 500 renown. Quest complete. Secret shop. Welcome. Alright, what do you got? Got some good rings. Master Seal, I'll buy one? that now. Thanks a bunch. Actually, yeah, you've got unlimited Master Is Seals. I just have to buy them Thanks one a at a bunch. time. That's the real benefit here. Also, the elixirs. Is that the one? Elixirs are worth. Is that the one? Is that the one? Thanks a bunch. Is that the one? Thanks a bunch. Oh my god, the elixirs are great. Is that the one? I'm just gonna Thanks buy some more bunch. of these. Is that the one? Thanks a bunch. Is that the one? I'll sort Thanks that out to people later. Okay. Alright, we're done here. That'll be elixirs will be great for emergency healing. Alright, tea time with Ingrid. Let's go. Why Ingrid? Because she's so cute. She needs to feel like royalty. My family. The family's despite blood and not so much a Go to D? Could be. Oh, not able to make it. Alright. Screw you. <laughs> Let's go with uh... Let's go with Anna! I was gonna say let's go with Dorothea. Let's go to tea time with Anna. I don't think I've done that before. Now there's on I hope they interesting. Oh, you're not able to make it. Alright. I wonder what determines whether or not they're able to make it. Hey Professor, thanks for your hard work again. Nothing to report today. <laughs> Dorothea! You're amazing. <laughs> was I convincing? Was it like he was standing right in front of you? Don't make fun of the poor guy right Some in front of you. Some are the same as they were five years ago. Alright, you wanna get a tea? <laughs> Nobody's able to make it! Uh... Well, crap. Pardon me. Alright, I guess let's just go eat. And then I'm going to call it an episode there. Kind of a letdown. Or maybe I can go with Petra? Would you like to go to tea? Since the pa but I have gratitude. Alright. Somebody will come to tea with us. Uh, what would you like? Ooh. Probably not that. a good question. You have this. my thanks for giving me your spare time. <laughs> I have gratitude. Delicious. Okay, good. She likes it. All right, yes. let's talk. Bodlin's future. I'm in agreement. Strange fish in the pond? Yes. Oh, okay. 
she's never expressed an interest in fishing, so I was kind of worried about that one. Yes. Strong battalion? In agreement. Yay! If you are having problems, I am happy to be listening. Uh, chat? Inspirational! <laughs> Inspirational! Perfect tea time! Sweet. Observe. Let us look at her creepily. Deep in her eyes. And not this her eyes. This style of braiding has been passing... Uh, has been passed down through my family. Yes, I'm looking at your braids. That That's... That's accurate. <laughs> Professor, do you have curiosity about my mark? <laughs> I kind of like the thought of... Wow, that's side Delicious. boob right there. Kind of like, like the thought of Byleth getting up to do this. But yeah, that was totally side this boob. Okay. Uh, let's give her a gift. Hunting dagger. This is giving me great joy. Good. And end. I will be waiting happily for you to be inviting me again. Alright, we enjoyed our tea time together. Charm increased. Charm increased. And with that... Exploration has ended. And we're going to call it an episode here. Thanks for coming out and joining me today. As always, I appreciate it. If you enjoyed what you saw, make sure you let me know. Give me a like, leave me a comment. Remember to, to subscribe. Way, going way too fast there. And I will see you guys tomorrow. And we will probably be doing our lessons and then going and taking on those paralogues. I'll see you then. Y'all have a great day. Later. <laughs>